Hello and welcome to your 90-day distance personal breakthrough coaching program. Over the next little while, I'm going to reveal to you how it's possible for you to stop pulling your hair, completely eliminate the struggle not to, and how you can finally break free from even years of slavery to self-esteem crushing trichotillomania. And the best part? All by accessing a skill you already possess. I'm Robert Mantel, and I'm the co-founder and executive director at the Trichotillomania Relief Specialist in Southern California. Together with my wife and coaching partner, Glay, we've been working together since 2006 with hundreds of clients from around the globe to help them break free from even years of formerly therapy-resistant trichotillomania. We've worked successfully with kids as young as seven and adults well into their 70s, folks who had been pulling their hair for 20, 30, 40, 50 years or longer, most of these folks, by the time they met us, had been through the ringer. Many of, in particular, our adult clients had already been to half a dozen different therapists and treatment centers, all to no avail, everyone else throwing up their hands and saying, we don't know what to do with you. And yet, we are able to get results with these people, usually incredibly quickly, often the first day, almost always within the first week. But you want to know something interesting? It wasn't always this way. In fact, not that long ago, my wife and I had no idea we'd one day be specializing in trichotillomania and eventually to be considered by many the go-to people in this field. You know, if all else fails, go see Robert and Glay. But we had no idea it would be like that. So how did we get here? Well, back in the 90s, I'd been a high school teacher teaching things like biology and physics and calculus. I know, fascinating stuff. At the time, my wife and coaching partner Glay was working in corporate HR. But once we met, and this is back in the late 90s, we discovered we each had a passion for learning more about the mysteries of human behavior. And we were particularly interested in accelerated forms of personal change, ways of doing things and helping people change that were really the cutting edge in human change technologies. Life is interesting the way things can just sort of dovetail together like this for a future that you never see coming. So now, for me personally, growing up, my father had always had a phobia. He had a fear of flying. He couldn't cross bridges. He couldn't drive through a mountain pass without breaking out in a sweat and fearing he might lose control and fall into a panic. You know, these many years later, I now know this to be a fear of open spaces. And this fear really limited him. I watched as it tore at his very sense of self, his pride as the leader, the guide, the protector of our family. And at times, he was just unable to do it. I remember one time when we were on the freeway between the San Fernando Valley, where I grew up, and West Los Angeles. Uh, for those of you who live in Southern California, you know where this is. And driving through the pass, my father had to turn around and go home. And it was a very important trip, and it was a heck of a disappointment for the rest of us. But we understood. So we did what we had to do. And while I didn't know it at the time, all these experiences left an indelible mark on me. It's undoubtedly why, once Glay and I learned of these accelerated change technologies, the very first thing I wanted to learn was how to cure phobias. Yeah, I wanted to learn how to knock out phobias, and better yet, I wanted to learn how to do it in record time. And that's when everything changed. Almost by accident, Glay and I came across a set of techniques that allowed us to resolve even lifelong phobias. You know, drop down, drag out fears of things like dogs, or cats, or ladders or driving on the freeway, or elevators, the fear of blood, or the fear of needles, often within minutes. And by the way, although we didn't know it at the time, this was also the watershed moment for us, where we learned the core elements of what allows our trichotillomania relief program to be as uniquely effective as it is, as quickly as it is. So then, once we began study and learn this technology, it wasn't long before Glay and I started our first company together back in May of 2000 called Bright Life Phobia and Anxiety Release Center. And we're still running this company, by the way. In addition to our flagship work with trichotillomania, we still have clients calling us to help them resolve various fears and phobias. So back then, now, we're doing all this work mostly with phobias and PTSD, and the word was getting out. You know, the work we were doing was remarkable, and it was so remarkable Within about a year, we were contacted by the folks at the Discovery Health Channel who wanted us to appear on a program they were doing about phobias. It was called Things That Go Bump, Facing Our Fears. And on that program, I was featured knocking out an intense 20-year phobia in just about 10 minutes right there, live on national television. 
And that's what got us on the map. People started coming from all over the country and all over the world, and not just people with phobias and post-traumatic stress. You know, now we're getting the folks with panic disorder and agoraphobia and OCD and social and generalized anxieties and trust me, stuff you probably haven't even heard of before. Things like anger attacks, a phobia to food, yeah. A phobia to toilet paper, I'm not kidding. But the great thing about this was, you know, for me and Glay, that was our rite of passage. These new tools we had available to us were teaching us with what in conventional therapy are normally fairly complicated conditions to try to treat, you know, to be as efficient as possible with our work, to laser beam focus our efforts on the smallest possible change that had the potential to lead to the greatest, most profound relief as quickly and easily as possible. So now, one thing leads to another. In 2006, we get this phone call from a woman in Massachusetts. It turns out she learned about us actually from two different former clients who had come to see us for issues totally unrelated to hair pulling. They came to see us here at Bright Life. And she told us her daughter's 15 years old and she's been pulling her hair out since she was five. She said she's got no hair left on her body, that they've already taken her everywhere, including the Mayo Clinic where they have a trichotillomania treatment center. No one's been able to do anything for her. And she practically begged, can you possibly help my daughter? I gotta tell you, even after all these years, I can still hear the pain, the fear, the desperation in her voice. Now, the good news is by that time, Glay and I had already developed a uniquely powerful and effective paradigm for dealing with what we think of as digital behaviors. That is, it's a one or zero. It's black or it's white, it's on or it's off. Uh, at the time, we were using this powerful proprietary intervention for things like insomnia. You know, a person calls and says they can't sleep and we say, well, you know, what time would you like to be asleep by if you could? And they say 11 o'clock. Uh, and so, you know, they're either asleep by 11 p.m. or they're not, right? Or bulimia, which is, you may know, uh, is an eating disorder, usually characterized by the bulimic stuffing themselves with food and then going upstairs and sticking a finger down their throat and making themselves throw up. And they may do this many times a day. And of course, there are a lot of health risks for the person who's doing this again and again and again. And of course, if you can find any way at all to get this person to stop sticking their finger down their throat, then by definition, they no longer have bulimia. And that's assuming they don't you know, find some other way to purge. Well, you get the idea. Hair pulling is the same way. You're either reaching up and pulling hair out of your head or you're not. Uh, and if you can find any way at all to stop pulling, then by definition, you don't have trichotillomania anymore. So I told this woman who called, this is with a 15 year old daughter, I told her the truth that while we of course, you know, we know what trichotillomania is, we had not yet worked with anyone with trichotillomania. At the same time though, we had some confidence that we could very likely help this young lady, her daughter, break free from her hair pulling, despite the fact that she'd seen all these other well-intended professionals and had come up empty every time. So long story short, this woman comes out here to Los Angeles with her daughter, and you know what? We had a great experience together. We were indeed able to help this young lady break free from her attachment to hair pulling. Follow-up was very smooth. It was just very nice. And to be frank, from our perspective, actually, you know, a lot less complicated than a lot of the other stuff we'd been working with up until that point. That's when it occurred to us that we'd apparently hit on something really special here. And so we made it a point to start seeing more and more people with trichotillomania. And over time, we could see our results were really light years ahead of what other people were getting. And that's when we made the conscious decision to now begin to specialize in trichotillomania, putting everything else aside so we can bring what had turned out to be a truly unique, truly effective service to market that was very much missing in the world of more traditional therapy. And now here we are, many years later, having worked with all kinds of folks from around the world, men, women, and children, a lot of individuals, but many in groups, some of whom had been, had been pulling only a short period of time when we met them, maybe a matter of months, but others had been pulling for years and years and years. And it didn't matter who we worked with or how long they'd been suffering with trichotillomania or who they'd gone to see before they met us or how many programs they'd tried and failed at in the past. It turned out anyone could benefit equally well equally quickly and equally easily using our revolutionary approach to resolving this issue. 
Now let's stop for a moment and let's compare this to what's typically available for trichotillomania among the traditional mental health establishment. And by the way, that's if you can even find a therapist who thinks they really know how to treat trichotillomania. I mean, you may find some people willing to take it on, but finding people who really know what they're doing, I can tell you right now they're far and few between. You may have found that out for yourself through bitter experience. Now, I personally have spoken with scores of prospective clients who told us they literally had to teach their own therapists about trichotillomania. That when they called, they seemed to know more about it than this presumably experienced therapist they were hoping could help them. But let's say you find someone who does say they can help you with your trichotillomania. What's that probably going to look like? Well, you know, they're probably either going to sit you down and try to talk sense into you, trying to get you to see that, you know, it's your hand. You should be able to control that, shouldn't you? Yeah, my guess is you probably knew that already. <laughs> or they might suggest that you wear gloves on your hands or put grease on your fingertips or put a hat or a bandana on your head. I've actually had clients tell me their therapist wanted them to keep a fidget spinner handy so they'd have something to do with their hands instead of pull. Some therapists wanted their clients to keep a doll handy so they could pull the hair out of that doll or maybe go outside and pull grass instead. Really? Look, how long is that really supposed to last? And what kind of cure is that anyway? Well, that's called redirecting the urges. That's the attempt anyway, you know, so that you can do something besides pull. That's what it's supposed to be, right? But does it really actually cure anything? Lots of therapists are gonna to wanna to have you keep a journal so you can keep a record of your pulling activities. Like, you know, what time it was when you pulled? What were you feeling at the time? How did you feel when you were done? How many hairs did you pull, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I think the point of these forms of therapy is to help enhance your awareness of what it is you're doing. That is, after all, the point of insight-oriented therapy. I think the expectation is, now that you better understand what's happening and why you're doing it, all of a sudden the light bulb's going to come on, and you'll never be troubled by the urge or compulsion to pull again. The problem is, in practice, it usually never happens that way. Why? Well, it's because insight in and of itself is rarely curative. Conscious knowledge or insight about why you do stuff is rarely gonna make a difference because you're running an unconscious pattern. I mean, think about this for a second. Don't we all know people who, let's say they've been doing something they don't like for many, many years, and they know they don't wanna be doing it anymore, and they may even have gone to therapy for years and know full well why they're doing what it is they're doing. But they just keep on doing it. So knowing why you do what it is you do is rarely going to be the answer for you. Maybe find someone who specializes in what are often considered to be state-of-the-art treatments for trichotillomania. Usually some form of CBT or what we call cognitive behavioral therapy. For example, habit reversal therapy or commitment and acceptance therapy. And you know what? Look, there's nothing wrong with these forms of therapy if they work for you. My only problem with some of these specialized forms of therapy is all the stuff you have to do in order to get better and all the things you have to practice again and again and again in order to make this change and the truth is that can take a lot of time and a lot of patience and you know a fair amount of dedication and you know what what if it's too much to have to keep doing that again and again and again what for weeks or, or months that's why using these more conventional approaches to trichotillomania treatment can can feel like trying to fill a leaking bucket it just never seems to stop it seems to take forever to even hope to get to the promised land. And a lot of people find they just don't have the energy to keep trying. Eventually, a lot of people just give up the fight and give in to what may now begin to feel like a life sentence to suffering and humiliation. So what do you do instead if you really want to make a difference this time? Well, you do the opposite of what most people do. See, I personally prefer the easy way. And by the easy way, I'm talking about the simplest, most straightforward, most elegant possible approach to achieving a particular result. What do I mean by that? Well, for example, our clients do not have to try to keep from pulling. Our clients do not have to struggle to not pull. Our clients do not have to put gloves on their hands or grease on their fingertips or something on their head to keep them from pulling their hair out. Our clients do not feel like a victim of a condition that controls them. Our clients do not white knuckle it. Bottom line is, not only do our clients not pull anymore, they don't struggle with it anymore either. So what do our clients do instead? 
Well, they flip on a mindset that permits them to experience freedom from pulling in effortless fashion. And this is the secret we discovered that allows our clients to so quickly break free from even years of chronic pulling, often within the course of just their very first session with us. We call this singularly unique approach the trick-free mindset solution. And I'm going to explain to you exactly how it works. After having spent years with Bright Life, helping hundreds of folks from around the world recover from all manner of anxiety and related behavioral problems, one of the skills we got really good at was to laser beam focus on just the one or two things our clients would tell us were the major blocks to change. And that if we could just handle those one or two things, that would make all the difference for them. Now, the way you get to those one or two critical things is, you just ask. You say something like, if you were to know, what stops you from not pulling anymore? A fairly straightforward question. And then you just listen. Usually, without even knowing what they're doing, clients will tell you what to them constitutes the major blocks to change. And most of them, it turns out, are just mental blocks, not real actual blocks to change. And that's good news for you because mental blocks are honestly, they're a whole lot easier to eliminate and faster, by the way, than actual real physical blocks would be. So when it comes to your trichotillomania, when you ask them that question, what stops you from just not doing this anymore? Do you know what's often the first thing they say? Well, they say things like, it's just not that easy. Or, yeah, easy for you to say. Or, once I start, I can't stop. Or, I don't know how to stop. Sometimes they'll come right out and say, because I can't help it. And you know what? Pretty much, no matter how a client says it, really, they're all just different colors and hues and expressions of the same mental block. That is, clients have, I would say understandably, come to believe that their trick controls them, not the other way around. They feel like they have no power to stop it, which also equates to they couldn't stop it if they tried. But hundreds of clients later, you know what we discovered? We discovered that even though they don't know it, everyone actually really does have the ability to not pull. And here's the kicker, they have the ability to not do it easily. What do I mean by that? Well, once again, here's something we noticed once we started working a lot with trichotillomania. And that is, it turns out, everyone has specific times and places where they're most likely to pull. If you think about it, chances are you do too. But you know what's really interesting? With a little bit of exploration, it turns out that, again, virtually without exception, people also tend to have times and places where they would never pull. And even more interestingly, not only do they not pull in these places, somehow it's easy to not do it there. Now, just to be sure, I'm not talking about times and places where it wouldn't normally come up at all, like when you're completely mentally occupied with something or perhaps when you're playing sports or you're sleeping or things like that. I'm talking about times and places and situations where maybe if you were by yourself, you would pull, but because of whatever's going on around you, a deeper part of you kicks in that would not allow you to even consider the possibility of pulling and therefore makes it easy for you to not do it. Sound familiar? So what is that? What's happening right there? Well, that's a mindset that you turn on at times like that. The chances are when you do it, it's totally automatic. You're not even aware that's what you're doing when you're doing it. But that is exactly what's happening. And that's why it's so easy to not pull there. Because you don't have to try to not pull when you're in situations that your brain makes it easy for you. And you know the greatest thing of all? It's a skill you already have, even now as you're watching this video. The only thing is, you have no conscious idea how you've been doing that when you've been doing it, right? But we know how you've been doing that. How do we know? Well, let's see. After having worked with hundreds of trick sufferers for years now, people have told us their story. And it turns out, everybody does it pretty much the same way. And here's the exciting thing. Really, the best thing of all is, we don't even need to teach you how to switch on this powerful, almost magical ability to be pull-free easily. The fact is, you already know how to do it. In fact, I'm willing to bet you've been doing it for years without even realizing it. You're actually a pro at turning on the ability to be pull-free in effortless fashion. You just had no idea about that. And by the way, isn't that kind of the holy grail of trichotillomania relief? no pulling, and no struggle to not do it. That's why we call our uniquely quick and effective trichotillomania relief paradigm the trick-free mindset solution. 
This also explains why it doesn't take months or years for our clients to learn a bunch of new skills, to practice a bunch of new exercises, to finally get it all together so they can finally be able to stop pulling. That's right. In fact, many of our clients find they're able to stop pulling after just their very first session with us. If you've been to our website at www.trick-free.com, you may have noticed that on many of our web pages, we make the rather outrageous claim that four out of five of our clients stop pulling after just their very first session with us. For a lot of people, understandably, that can be pretty hard to believe, especially after you personally have been through the ringer with this stuff, perhaps having suffered with seemingly uncontrollable trichotillomania and the urges to pull for years. Having been to half a dozen different treatment centers or therapists, perhaps having tried medication or a cocktail of medications, whatever it might be, to hear us say that four out of five of our clients stop pulling after just the very first session with no medication at all, by the way, and without having to resist, that can absolutely sound too good to be true. And the truth is, I've talked with lots of people over the phone, usually people we're consulting with about our program and what we believe we can do for them, and we'll be into this very inspiring conversation with them, and lots of times they'll say something like, wow, you know, it all sounds good, but to tell you the truth, it almost sounds too good to be true. And I just want to say, I totally understand that. Like you, I also grew up hearing, you know, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And you know what? Look, I live in the same world you do. And for the most part, I believe that just like you do. But this is the rare exception, and I can prove it. Now, before I get to that, though, I just want to quickly remind you once again why it's possible that even people who've been pulling for years can stop virtually on a dime. I mean, that's the thing that's hard to believe, right? That people just like you can indeed stop pulling quickly and easily, even without a struggle, no matter how long they've been pulling. It's possible because, again, we don't need to teach you something you don't already know how to do. The fact is, you do know how to be trick-free, even effortlessly, under the right conditions. And without even being consciously aware of it, I'll bet you've probably brought to bear that ability several times just today. Almost certainly many times this week, and for sure many, many times over this past month. So that our job is made relatively easy because all we're really doing here is bringing to consciousness for you exactly what you've already been doing probably all these years and almost certainly without even knowing it to activate this very powerful part of you that makes freedom from hair pulling effortless. And that's why we call this the Trick Free Mindset Solution. It explains why out of every other trichotillomania treatment program, at least that we've heard of, our program is by far the most simple and elegant and typically gets results far faster and far more easily than anything else we've ever heard of. Have you ever heard the saying, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line? I admit it, I actually used to be a math teacher in former life. Can you believe it? Look at me now. I already told you I never would have saw this coming, right? Look, in this case, the two points we're talking about now is where you are now, and then on the other side, how you dream of being different. Think of the trick-free mindset solution as by far the shortest distance between those two points. That's the method we're gonna teach you. The strategy we're gonna be teaching you, this off the charts unique method that we've been using with our clients so successfully since way back in 2006, this is the missing link for you. It's what's been missing from everything else you've tried to get better. Think of this. If you could snap your fingers and turn on that part of you that we've already shown you that you do have, the part of you that is unconsciously competent at being pull-free effortlessly. How much easier would that be than continuing to drive to therapy every week for the next God knows how long and continuing to pay that therapy bill every single week? How much easier would it be than the constant daily struggle to not pull? How much less stressful would that be? How much less stress would there be in your relationships with your husband or your wife or if you're younger with your mom and your dad? How much more harmony would there be in your home? How much more relaxed would everybody be? If you could turn on that part of you at will that knows how to be pull free effortlessly, so effortlessly you've been doing it for years without even knowing it. How much easier would that be than having to wake up an hour earlier every day just to make sure your hair is fixed just the right way so others can't see the damage you've done to your hair and your scalp? Or having to take a bunch of extra time in the morning to put makeup on your eyebrows or 
extra heavy eyeliner to cover up the damage to your eyelashes. You're probably sick and tired of that stuff. Well, what we're going to offer you today is your golden opportunity to free yourself of this junk once and for all. So now then, let me just take a few moments to show you a sampling of the kind of results our clients are able to achieve as a result of their work with us. I mean, you know, so far it's just been all me telling you how awesome we are, but you'd probably expect that, right? So what you're going to be seeing here are screenshots of emails sent to us by our clients either during the course of their programs with us or perhaps afterwards. But the thing you want to keep in mind as you look at these is that none of what you'll be seeing here has been solicited in any way. They're just heartfelt reports and expressions of real joy, real relief, and real satisfaction with their results. So this comes to us from a young lady named Abigail. Uh, we worked with her, as you can see from the date, several years ago. Uh, they made the trip out here, uh, she and her mom, all the way from Pennsylvania. So I just wanted to write you a note to let you know how I am. Uh, it's uh, been busy a few days since we got back, but uh, all of them have been wonderful. I'm now trick-free and loving it. I cannot thank you both enough. Uh, let's see, in the second paragraph there, our session was successful, provided me with the opportunity to take a hold of all that God has offered in my life. I've not pulled one hair, and it is amazing. Um, let's see, okay, third paragraph over there. I'm praying for you and for the awesome breakthrough sessions I know you'll have with more people who pull. Uh, and just a very nice note there. This next one is from her mom a little while later. Hi, Robert and Glay. Uh, it's worth every moment uh, preparing every plane ride, every crazy highway in California. I know our prayers were answered when we were led to you both. Um, yeah, and as I look through here, um, anyway, yeah, just a really nice note. You know, you can read through this as well. And you can see what we're seeing. If you need to, go ahead and stop the uh, video at any point and feel free to read all the way through these notes. They're very inspiring. This one is from Kathy, the mother of young Alexis, who we worked with a few years ago. She says, uh, and uh, I guess Alexis is writing through her mother's uh, email, which is common. We have that. Uh, she says, I'm still doing fantastic. I am totally over my habit 100%. Uh, also, uh, let's see here. Okay, this is from Alexis's mom, Kathy, directly from Kathy. Hello, I know Alexis has not been in contact for a while, but I wanted to drop a note to let you know what I see. Um, I'm sure you could both tell that I've been somewhat hesitant to say a whole lot about the progress with the pulling. It is because it has been a long road and we have tried numerous things, but I can say right now at this point, her eyelashes look awesome. She's doing great, as she would say. She said in her words, I've got this. Uh, with much appreciation, thanks for what you both have given my daughter, Freedom. Very nice to read, just wonderful to see. Uh, and then uh, sometime later, uh, from Kathy Lex's mom, just dropping a note to say Alexis is doing great, presumably still doing great months later. It's been such a blessing. She said the other day that she's not biting her fingernails, uh, I, I guess, anymore and not pulling. So she doesn't have any bad habits anymore. I can definitely see a difference in her. Look at this. I'll look at all the exclamation points. Happy, happy. Thank you so much. And then, um, and then about a month later, this is from, let's see, this is from Alexis herself. Merry Christmas Eve. Haven't pulled in like 11 days. I'm proud. I uh, haven't had any urges. I'm so happy. I went to my grandma's and we opened some presents. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, look how excited she is. That's wonderful to see. Uh, also, okay, from Alexis, look at this. Uh, a long time later. Look at this. March of 2018. Hey, I've been doing great. It's growing in so well. I can't wait for my new haircut. Haven't pulled nor had any urges for so long. It's weird uh, to be pull free, I guess, for almost two years. And then you just, uh, uh, let's see, okay. It's weird to, for, I guess, having pulled for almost two years, and then you just stop. Yeah, it can be that straightforward. It can be that, uh, it can be that quick. All right, now this one is from, uh, let's see, this is from Lexi. Lexi was a young lady we worked with. Her mother's name is Rebecca. Uh, let's see, and so yeah, Rebecca wrote this to us. Here's Lexi's pixie cut she got today. <clears throat> Looks even better in person. Yes, she's actually a redhead with bright blue eyes. Uh, we'll turn back to blonde this summer. You know, I don't include all the pictures. And some of these things, by the way, that you'll see in some of these testimonials, some of these success stories, we will include pictures because we got permission uh, from these folks to do it, but I hadn't reached out to them for that permission yet. 
Okay, so this is a great example of that. This note was written by Michelle uh, a year after we got started with her daughter, Amy, and obviously we had uh, their permission to include this picture, so we did. Uh, hey, Robert and Glay, Amy wanted to say hey and send you a picture of her beautiful head of hair one year later. Hope you all are doing well. Very nice. Uh, and let's see, okay. And look at this, look at the title. Same, same uh, person who writing to us again, Michelle. The uh, title of the uh, email, Believers. She says, I really enjoyed your new blog. You have indeed made believers out of us, and we cannot thank you both enough for what you do. Take care, Michelle. Very nice, okay? And um, years later, a couple of years later now. Hi, Robert and Glay. Amy and I just wanted to say hello. Uh, let's see, I guess that's uh, from wherever they live, so I, I crossed that out there. And let you know she's still going strong, has a beautiful head of hair to show for it. As you can see, thanks for all that you do to bless the lives of others and for being such a blessing to us. It is our prayer that God continue to use you both for his glory as you continue to touch and enrich the lives of others through your work. Uh, humbly, Amy and Michelle. And uh, I might add here that Glay and I do feel blessed. We feel blessed to be able to do this work. Apparently, uniquely, successfully, uh, we, we do feel like we've been given a gift. Uh, another picture of Amy. Look at that. Side view. Great hair. Now, this is from Anna. Uh, she writes in, uh, hi, Robin Glay, another pull free day. My parents and sisters are beyond thrilled. As you asked, I told them hi from you. They're all really excited about our work together and my progress. My hair is looking even more fulfilled or filled in. Uh, incredibly exciting. Yeah, very good. Uh, also, Anna, another one. Just to let you know that the uh, awesome news, I was in my dorm room alone last night for parts of today. Did not pull a single hair. It was like the ultimate test. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, it was weird how I didn't even consider it. Isn't that nice? Okay. Uh, and then sometime later, Anna, all right, a little update. Uh, and of course, I will be taking lots and lots of pictures. I, you know, we cross out some of this over here because some of it may be just really personal stuff or not necessarily directly pertaining uh, to the hair pulling stuff. It says, my hair is looking really good. Uh, parents are still in disbelief because it seems too good to be true. Yeah, we hear that one a lot. Uh, I just sit silently and laugh at them because I know it's real progress. I still can't thank you guys enough. So from Anna, sometime later, a couple of months later, you would I'll, I'll be so happy to know that my hair looks fabulous. There are absolutely no bald patches anywhere. Seems to be growing out pretty nicely. I would say I'm much happier uh, than I was last semester. And that would, that's great. Okay, and what do we have here? Uh, another note from Annalise writing from her mother's email address. Uh, so a lot of this is chronological. So you're seeing some of these notes, uh, you know, as part of this video here uh, that have come in, you know, some years ago, admittedly, uh, some years ago. But as we move through these, and there's a lot of them, uh, you're going to see that uh, we're getting closer to present day. Annalise says, uh, hi, Robin Glade. It's been so long since I've emailed you. Uh, I just want to let you know things are going great here. My hair is growing in beautifully and surprisingly curly. My hair hasn't been this thick uh, in years. Uh, let's see. Beep, beep, beep. It says, uh, she, there was a period where she battled with this again for a month or two. And at that period, I was struggling and pulling. But finally, I was fed up with my laziness and lack of willpower to fight on and decided that I'm not going to be weak and lazy and I will do this and uh, because it's truly what I wanted. Since that day, I've not pulled a single hair. My hair is growing in crazily fast and curly. I love it. My hair is fully grown. No more patches. The lengths are all just different. And it looks awesome. Uh, so that's very nice. You know, look, folks, we have to understand something. Our job here at the Trichotillomania Relief Specialist is to empower our clients, to show our clients where the control button is on this stuff, essentially. You know, we can't turn off their ability to pull hair. And every once in a while, they may drop back into it for a little while. But it's not because, quote, I'll put it in quotes, it came back. It's because they allowed themselves to, to pull a little bit again. Sometimes people are curious. Sometimes people haven't done it in a long time. They want to know what it feels like again. But, you know, that's something they're doing. It's not because it came back or because it didn't work. It's that, you know, as, as uh, Annalise has the courage to, uh, to admit here, you know, she needed to, to regain her commitment and reconnect with her commitment. And that's exactly what she did. And that's why she's uh, as happy as she is again. Says, I'm so happy to be a girl again and embrace my true beauty. Isn't that really what it's all about? Very nice. Okay, uh, this comes from uh, Anne. Okay, a daily update for Wednesday. Uh, let's see, things are continuing to improve. I don't really understand why or what exactly happened last week. <laughs> yeah. 
but I'm gradually seeing a change in myself and attitudes towards attitude towards living. I feel as though I'm watching miracles unfold every day. I'm looking forward to working more in self-awareness, understanding more about emotions. Uh, synchronicity abounds, no hair problems still. Uh, also for man, another day without pulling. Um, let's see, yeah, you know, again, you can you can sort of these are long emails. I'm kind of reading through them myself as I as I sort of share with you some of the highlights. But you can always stop the video and read through this yourself, and you'll see uh, these people are are pretty darn happy. Uh, also from Ann. Um, Let's see, some new things are happening. And I was approached by a photographer who wants me to model for her, which is actually something I've been wanting to do. Uh, down below in the third paragraph down, come to think of it, I don't even have the desire to pull anymore. I feel the searching is just a residual habit at this point. It'll fade away gradually, like you said. And that, yeah, that's usually the case. Some of these secondary behaviors that were relating to hair pulling, like hands just, you know, moving through the hair, kind of on their own. It's just force of habit is really what that is. And then as clients discover the ability to take control of their hair pulling, all the secondary habits seem to, as she says, fade away as well. So, um, yeah, it's just great. And then down at the bottom, I guess I'm still pretty amazed by it all. Also for man, I uh, haven't felt so happy in a long time. It continues to amaze me. I feel much more comfortable and confident myself. Um, yeah. Over five weeks of freedom from trichotillomania now. This one is from Jen in December of 2015, uh, the mother of Annika. Merry Christmas to you both. Annika's doing fabulous, enjoys wearing makeup daily, continues to be successful. Our year was blessed so much thanks to you. Just want to take a moment to say thank you. This one just came out of the blue. So this was not a uh, an email, uh, a follow-up email that typically require of clients to send us during the course of their program so we know what's happening between their live sessions. This is just something they sent some time later to acknowledge their success and to celebrate their success and to thank you, thank us for it. If, uh, from uh, Kelly, 2017. Uh, hi guys, I'm sorry, so Kelly is the mom of Bella. Okay, it's young Bella, Bella was about 12 when we started work with her. Hi guys, it's Bella. I'm so excited because I've not pulled since our meeting. Your coaching really helped. I am the boss. Look at all those happy faces. That's the feeling, folks. That's the feeling you're after. If you think hair pulling feels good, take a look at that. What do you think Bella's feeling? Okay, and this is also from uh, Kelly's email address, the mother of Bella. Bella's, uh, so Kelly says she's excited to talk to you guys today. It, this looks like an email that Kelly had sent in prior to one of our earlier meetings with Bella. She's excited to talk to you guys today. She's been doing awesome. We were just talking about how at first when you all said sometimes the polling stops after the very first week and how we thought that was crazy, but it really happened with Bella. Thank you all so much. We'll talk to you soon. Okay, so there you go. It does happen. Also, uh, Kelly, uh, let's see. I can't believe we're already scheduling our final session. So we've done our 12 weeks, right? And we're getting this note in prior to her eighth and final meeting. It is amazing what has happened and what Bella has accomplished in such a short amount of time. We are forever grateful to you guys for all the tools and coaching you gave her. Uh, that's good. Okay, here's an email from Annie uh, at San Marie, actually. This is the mother of then 15 year old Brianna. Remember we told you Brianna's story earlier in this video. She's our very first client. She's the one that called us all the way from uh, the other side of the country, all the way from the East Coast. And uh, they'd been all over the place and just uh, weren't able to get help uh, anywhere else. And this email, look at the date on this, 2009. This is three years after we began work with Brianna and her mom had written in and said she, hey, she's got some great uh, pictures. And I asked if we might have permission to share her pictures uh, as a source of inspiration for others who might want that help. Anyway, this note is all about, yeah, sure, we, she talked to Brianna and she got uh, permission to do that. So that's really very nice. Uh, thanks for everything. We do truly hope to give back here's to helping others like Brianna. Look at those exclamation points. So let's take a look and see what those pictures look like. There's the before, okay? You can't see much, but I don't know, they're washing a car. And there's not a lot going on with Brianna's hair there. But then here we are a few years later when her mother is writing to us and look what we got. Wow, look at that hair. Look at all that hair. Very proud. Brianna's a few years older and uh, she at the time was in performing arts. I'm not exactly sure if she still is now. But that's the result. Very proud mom writing to us. 
And this is another one from Anne-Marie. Uh, again, sent right around the time she sent us the uh, email you looked at just a moment ago. Um, this is a testimonial. It says, to anyone who ever experienced the pain and frustration of trichotillomania, please know that there is help. Brought my daughters all over the place, numerous doctors, social workers, psychiatrists, uh, you know, on and on and on. I uh, heard about Bright Life Center. At the time, we were Bright Life Phobia and Anxiety Relief Center. We had not created the trichotillomania relief specialist yet because we hadn't worked with anybody with trichotillomania. And, uh, but anyway, they, uh, they were inspired to do that. You know, so they came out here. They had a great experience. Uh, and just a second paragraph, Robert and Glay changed my daughter's life. Uh, no one can change the struggles she went through in her younger years. She entered her junior uh, year of high school with a full, if not very short, that means long, head of hair for the first time in years. Um, anyway, uh, very exciting uh, email to take a look at. Again, feel free to stop the video and read through this if you'd like to do that. This is from Brittany, who, yeah, let's see here. So she would be in her early 20s, college student in Australia, actually. Hi, Robin Glay. Thanks for everything you've done for me over the past three months. I feel so much happier and confident in myself. Uh, had a great weekend, pull free. Uh, this is from Lori and the mother of Caroline. Thanks so much for a wonderful session yesterday. Caroline's doing great. Told me didn't pull at all. Asked her what was different. She told me she didn't want to take any more days off my life. I replied with a big thank you. Um, I was very impressed with your line of questioning. So this looks like it was uh, an email sent by uh, uh, Lori right after our very first session with them. Down at the bottom, you guys are the best. Thanks for your understanding. You both handled it really well. I uh, appreciate all you're doing. Let's see. This is from Stacy. Stacy uh, is a raving fan. Uh, her daughter uh, began work with us. You can see back down there uh, in the, what, 2013, 2014. And Stacy is actually a, a member of several trichotillomania groups uh, online and has endlessly promoted us and said a lot of nice things about us and really um, talked about all the success we were able to get for her daughter, Caroline. Says, I haven't pulled in forever. This is actually from Caroline, I guess, using Stacy's email. Again, that's common. It's been so long, I'm very happy of that. Haven't even had an urge. Uh, did a missions trip, which was great, to Costa Rica. Um, yeah, yeah, there you go. Uh, once again, let's see here. Okay, now this is from Stacy. Okay, making follow-up appointments. Uh, thank you for everything. Caroline's really uh, doing great. It's good to see her happy. Unbelievable that Trick is behind us, and it was so easy for her. One of the things we would like you, the viewer of this video, to understand, again, is stopping pulling a return to the design, a return to the normal, does not have to be hard. In fact, the harder you struggle to keep from pulling, the harder it is to keep from pulling. <laughs> you know, people need to understand that the easiest way to make this change is to relax and let the change happen by itself. Now we need to teach you how to do that. That's part of what it is we do here. But it's part of the reason our clients make this change and typically keep it. Once again, from Stacy. Sometime later, this is the middle of August of 2014. Sorry, it's been such a long time since we've been in touch. Everything is going so well, it's really hard to believe. Caroline has the longest, craziest lashes. Um, yeah, very happy. Looking forward to school uh, starting on Monday. And Stacy said, that's weird. I guess she doesn't normally look forward to school, but I guess she is this time. Uh, let's see. Thank you. Second paragraph. Thank you again for giving Caroline her life back and showing her the control she has always had over this. My only regret is that I didn't call you guys a couple of years ago. Um, she, and she talks about how she's getting ready to maybe, um, you know, refer us uh, to, to a, a friend of theirs. Okay, and once again, Stacy, sometime later. Uh, been a while since we checked in, wanted to give you both an update. We're going the fifth week of school. Caroline's still doing great. Trick is very much in her past. Uh, if she can overcome trick, there's nothing she can't do. I'm so proud of her. I'm still down at the bottom. I'm still as shocked and amazed as I was at the beginning. What a gift you both have given her and our entire family. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, that tells us why we're doing this work. Okay. It really does help change lives. And again, Glay and I feel incredibly blessed to be able to do this work and be able to help people like this. Again from Stacy, sometime later. I uh, hope you're both doing well. It's been a while. Caroline is amazing. Just started high school. Okay, now this is in 2015. So this is probably a year later. 
She's smart, confident, and anxiety, and pull-free. She has never even thought about pulling since that, her first session. I'm still amazed by everything y'all did. Uh, and again, talking about a friend, her youngest daughter has a friend that pulls her lashes and again, wants to refer us. That's very nice. I want to thank you again down at the bottom for everything you did for Caroline and our family. Family has never been happier, and Caroline has never been better. This is from Christina, who was 14 years old when we began work with her. They were actually in New Zealand. We worked with them all the way from New Zealand uh, via video conferencing and uh, using her mother's email account, as I told you, uh, often our young clients do. Hi, Robert and Clay. Today was very interesting in school because we had a self-esteem talk. It relates to exactly what you say. Uh, it made me realize I'm in control of everything and it made me feel even more confident and proud of who I am. Uh, so now that I haven't pulled every day, I'm better and stronger. Very nice. This is from, uh, let's see, from Amanda, who's the mother of Cicely. Uh, good morning. Let's see. Uh, I have not seen Cicely pulling at all. No spots to ask about. I'm just so amazed and it was almost too good to be true. Remember I told you I've heard that before. We've heard that before over here. Because of how much you would pull before, I can surely say it is true and it is definitely great. Thank you again, Robert and Glay. You are amazing at what you do for people's lives. And what you do for people's lives is extraordinary. Thank you again for all that you do. Okay, this is from Dasis, who is the mother of 15-year-old uh, Deanna, when we started working with her some time ago. Um, uh, Deanna's case was interesting. Uh, anyway, we're, we're into our program with them. And at some point, it became clear that there was some strife. There was some uh, misunderstanding, some strife, and therefore some stress uh, between Deanna and her dad. And at our invitation, Deanna was okay bringing the dad into the room, and we helped him work it out. And, uh, you know, this is family. This is family coaching. And we can see what happened here. It's beautiful to see Deanna happily expressing her imperfections. And in a way, I, I guess they're saying she could feel accepted finally by her dad. Uh, and then she and her, I crossed her husband's name out, obviously, for, you know, for confidentiality. It says here, he has never before sat by Deanna at any of her doctor's appointments ever. So today when I saw him sit next to her, I just wanted Deanna to take every second of the chat and thank you, Jesus, for Skype. I uh, never thought I would be thanking God for technology, but here I am doing so. May God continue to bless you both with the wisdom, kindness, and love that you both have. Very nice to see. Very heartfelt. This one is from Deborah, who was a medical student when we worked with her some time ago. Uh, and let's see, oh yeah, right there at the end of that first paragraph, I never thought overcoming this could be so effortless, starting my clinical journey early tomorrow morning. Yeah, she's doing her clinicals. Uh, let's see, this is uh, Deborah. I cannot and will not experience this again. I have not pulled a single hair since two weeks ago, not one, and I honestly rarely have the urge to do it. Um, I'm still working on adding the 10 minutes of doing nothing to my day. Basically, what she's talking about there is this whole concept of balance. You know, balanced lifestyle is usually a far less stressful one. And so lifestyle balance is one of the things we, we encourage with our clients. Deborah says, as unbelievable as it is, I feel I'm well on my way to being cured of my hair pulling. Wow. However, I know the ideas you and Glay taught me can help enrich my life in so many more ways. I hope to continue to grow in this. Thanks again, Deborah. Uh, again, uh, Deborah. Let's see. Uh, here we are. Thank you. I don't pull my hair anymore. I've been meaning to send this message for months. So it's been some months that she's been doing well. This morning, I parted my hair down the middle and put it in two French braids. It looks good. I've always wanted to wear my hair that way. Um, let's see. Let's see. Yep. 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 Hope is all is well. Thanks again. Couldn't have transformed my life without you. Again, there's a lot here. And I blacked out some of the stuff that's probably an issue of confidentiality. I covered some of that up. Uh, this is from Kathy, the mother of 17-year-old at the time, Dylan. Yep, a boy. Boys do pull sometimes. We had Dylan's 18th birthday party. Great time. Uh, doing great. No visible signs of any picking and haven't woken. Haven't been woken up once. He went to Citadel Friday night with the guys. No anxiety. You and Glay are truly miracle workers. Uh, this is from Kathleen, once again, okay, so the mother of Dylan. I wanted to take a moment to personally thank you for what you were able to accomplish with Dylan. As you recall, prior to visiting you both at Bright Life, our son struggled with Trick for eight years. We tried all the traditional therapies, cognitive hypnosis, medication, you name it. 
uh, nothing was working, then we learned through a very close friend that you had also treated a family member. They have had 100% success. So we called you right away and made the trip to California, and I cannot say enough great things about how you've helped our son learn he has the power to control this problem. So in those days, yeah, clients used to have to get on a plane and fly out here to Southern California if we were going to work with them. This is from Evelyn. This is the mother of a young Franzi, who was about 11 when we started work with her. We worked with them all the way from Scotland via video conferencing. Yeah. Uh, thank you for what you've done for Franzi. Just want to let you know she's away to school today. Has a full head of hair. Uh, some bits are a bit thin, but look a little normal. Some areas are shorter, but you cannot tell she had a problem. I think once her hair is back to how it was, Franzi will get more confident and deal with situations better. She spent a whole day at her friend's house and came back with her hair intact. Last time she went to a friend's house, she came back minus two inches of hair. You have actually given Franzi a future and me as well. My life was on hold. Thanks for giving us all hope. Um, let's see. Let's see. Yesterday she played a full hour competitively, badminton. Never touched her head. In the harsh light of the sports hall, you would see her bald patches. Yesterday, none were visible. It is amazing. Best wishes, Evelyn. Okay, this one's from Joan, the mother of Hannah, who was in her mid-20s when we began work with her. Uh, Joan wrote just to offer, her, uh, offer us her feedback about Hannah's experience with us so far. Hannah had, was a little ways into her program just yet. Uh, says, uh, I'm Hannah's mother. I've spoken to Hannah many times over the last weeks. Last few weeks, she genuinely, genuinely seems happier. She's been very motivated by her work with you, and you seem to have ignited a spark inside her. I have not seen her or heard her so happy for years. Uh, she says her state of mind is translated into much less pulling, too. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, she had only one setback last week at work. She is not pull free yet, but she has had many more pull free days than ever before. She used to try to get through 30 minutes. How depressing is that? I'm grateful for what you're doing with her. I know she will schedule another call uh, shortly. Um, please keep up the good work. Heading in the right direction, sounds energized, and is forgiving of herself and more in control of life. That's very nice. Okay, good. All right. This one is from Victoria. Uh, Victoria is the mother of then at the time, a 14-year-old Hannah. They had only just begun pulling, and I remember the story. It's an interesting one. Vicky had called and was in tears, and she was in tears partly because Hannah had started pulling her hair, but the, the deeper reason she was in tears is because, you see, Vicky had been pulling her hair for about 30 years before uh, no, be, noticing Hannah beginning to do this, and she felt very guilty, she said, because she felt like maybe it's because of her that, she, that Hannah had learned to pull. By the time we uh, went to work with Hannah, Vicky had done a lot of damage to her scalp. Remember, she'd been pulling for a long, long time, and she was wearing a wig when we started with them. Uh, anyway, great story because there we are. We go to work with Hannah, and we have a mother sitting there with us, joining us for the sessions. And by the way, we encourage parents to be present with their minor uh, youngsters that we're working with. We always encourage that. Guess what? Vicky learned to stop pulling as well. We got two for the price of one, right? It was a great result. Hi, Robert and Clay. I'd be thrilled to speak with Brenda. I, I guess this is in response to a request I had. Uh, this potential customer had, I think, uh, you know, asked to speak with a former client. And we said, that's fine. And I reached out to Vicky for that. Hannah, I thank God for the two of you on a daily basis. We are so grateful. Feel free to give her my phone number. That's referring to Brenda. If she wants to contact me, that's great. I'm always available to sing your praises and to let people know how you two have changed our lives. Sincerely, Vicky. This is from Heather, who uh, was, I think, 35 when we started with her. I know we've shown you a lot of uh, uh, testimonials and success stories, written success stories. And a lot of these have been from young people uh, or from their parents. Uh, and that's because probably 80% of our clientele are young people because, you know, there are a lot of reasons for that, I suppose. Uh, we've done a whole video on that subject on YouTube if you want to take a look at that. But um, yeah, so, but you know, obviously our stuff works uh, just as well for adults. There's really no difference. Um, happy Tuesday. Hope you're all doing well. Happy to report I'm doing fantastic. Since our last visit, I've not pulled even one eyelashes. Believe me, I've had urges and caught my hands on my lashes, but each time I've been successful in stopping and moving on without another thought. I have definitely felt in control and looking forward to maintaining that feeling as the weeks progress. Tomorrow, I will be officially seven weeks pull free from pulling the hair on my head. Who knew? Um, very, very nice. Wow. 
Look at that. Look at that. Uh, what a different world this is when you're not pumping all your energy into negativity, stress, and anxiety. Loving life and whatever throws at me. Good or not so good. All right. And once again from Heather. Uh, hello, trick peeps. Checking into Relay that I've had a very successful weekend. The urges have subsided. The control is still mine. Always has been. Always will be. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Windy day here in central Illinois, but I didn't care. Didn't feel like I had to wear a hat or put my hood up to keep my hair from blowing so that someone would see my bald spots because I don't have any anymore. Again, it's the little things that matter. Yeah, sure does. But when you suffer with this problem, when you struggle with this, doesn't it affect so many other parts of your life? That's why it's so important to get this thing handled. If you can get it handled, we provide that opportunity for you. Also from Heather, great morning. I continue to think about that quote often. Uh, I guess uh, she had uh, noticed a, a meme we probably uh, placed in our social media. Uh, she says, very simple but powerful and true. Still doing fantastic here. Finding myself feeling much uh, more and more relaxed as I continue to remind myself that I am in control. Such a great feeling of peace, that is. I also spent some time these past couple of days wondering how long my hair will be on my one year anniversary. My hairdresser, who still hasn't said anything by the way, and we were talking about that the other day that I wanted to grow my hair out because I've never had long hair in my life and that's my goal. Long, beautiful locks, which will be crazy thick because in the past when I quit pulling for a couple of years, my hair grew in crazy thick. Look at the, the exclamation points here all over this note you know what that is that's the energy of excitement when a person begins to realize and starts to believe they start to see the light at the end of the tunnel this is this has been a dream for heather never thought she could have it but here she is she's seeing like i said the light at the end of the tunnel and that for her is incredibly exciting look at that also from heather some time later uh, thanks so much for referring me to your fb post a great refresher on what urges are what causes them and how to challenge them when they arise uh, if you're not aware of it, uh, we do have a Facebook page, a Facebook community page, facebook.com slash trichotillomania relief. You might want to check that out when you have a chance. Just this past Tuesday, my therapist and I were reflecting on how much I've changed in the last 12 weeks since I had my first session with the two of you. It's been an incredible experience, and she just can't believe the difference. Uh, fate is a mysterious thing, but I certainly do believe in it. Thanks so much for the support. Also from Heather, sometime later. Uh, Heather was very, yeah, she, she wrote to us a lot. Hard to believe it's been three months since our first session. Who knew that I would be standing here today with hair? Definitely not me, but three months into this and my hair is almost as long enough on the sides to pull back into a ponytail. Woo woo. Uh, let's see, let's see, anyway. Yeah, continue, feel free to read through this if you want. But you see, you know, where where where's all this energy coming from? Where are all these words coming from? This is somebody who's, feeling wonderful about the changes that have happened here and it looks like she's chomping at the bit to get all of this stuff out to get all these emotions out to get all of her thoughts and her feelings out of course also from heather good afternoon evening now this is sometime later just a reminder that it's been six months to the day since i since my first meeting with the trs i remember how nervous i was to meet you and to tell you my story which i never shared much with anyone it was a subject i avoided like the plague yeah of course little did i know how much that two-hour meeting would change my life now i'm in control of my behaviors and have more confidence than i never ever knew i could have i, I knew i've said this before but i can never tell you enough thank you thank you so much for helping me find my way out of a tunnel that every day seemed to get a little more darker and darker and I often wonder how my life would be if the series of fortunate events had never taken place. Living in a loveless, unhappy marriage, divorced, trying to make it on my own. You know, uh, yeah, pretty dark place. You know, when you're struggling with this stuff, you're struggling for, with, with this stuff for years, you have no idea how, how you're going to get out of this, how you're going to find a solution, or even if you can, these are the kind of feelings that can begin to take over. But uh, given our time together, look, I've always believed that things happen for a reason and more so now with the experiences that I've had over the last six months. So much to be thankful for and so much to live for. Thank you for helping me find me. And finally, here's a note from Heather uh, just about a year after we started with her. She writes in to say, hard to believe it's been a year to the day that we had our first session. My, what a difference a year makes. I can never thank the two of you enough for helping me discover how wonderful and enjoyable life is without trick. I never imagined in my wildest dreams it would be this fantastic. 
I've learned so much about myself and what I want moving forward. Without my personal breakthrough, who knows where I would be. Thanks again for helping me find me. Have a great day, Heather. So pretty impressive, right? I'm going to tell you the truth. This could have gone on and on and on. As I speak to you right now, I'm in the process of making this video for you. And in doing so, I've only just now realized how long it takes to get through all these testimonials. We have more. I have a lot more to show you. But this video is going to be two hours long if I let that happen. In any case, look, without a doubt, you've seen for yourself the power of the work we do. You've seen the life-changing impact of what it means to free yourself from trichotillomania. Now, imagine that's you after completing your 90-day distance personal breakthrough coaching program. Imagine how much happier you're going to be feeling when you finally cut the ball and chain on this hair pulling habit once and for all. Just picture looking in the mirror and seeing those big, full, lush eyebrows or eyelashes or perhaps a healthy, voluptuous head of hair. Think how good it's going to feel when you wake up every day knowing you're truly free from all those years of what used to feel like slavery to trichotillomania. What will it mean to you to be able to go out and visit with other people? Maybe go to parties or go swimming? To do all the things you've dreamed of feeling free to do someday? Imagine the buffet of unlimited opportunities you're going to have now that you get to think about how you want to spend all that time that you used to spend on hair pulling or the struggle not to. Now you get to spend all that time doing anything else you want. Where will you be free to go now? What will you be free to do? Who will you be free to be with? Do you belong to any trichotillomania support groups, either in person or online? They're going to be begging you for your secret when you tell them how you've changed. Now, I'm sure by now you can clearly see just how life-changing this can be for you when you finally say goodbye to that old, outdated hair pulling junk once and for all. We see this happen all the time when we work with clients, again, many of whom had been pulling uncontrollably for 10, 20, 30, 40 years or longer. Once you join this program, you're going to acquire skills that you can use for the rest of your life. We are talking about skills that are timeless, skills no one can ever take away from you. And for what it's worth, we're talking about skills that can benefit you across the board in your life, not just in helping you free yourself from trichotillomania. For example, how would you like to be able to eliminate stress, pressure, or overwhelm, the tightness, the tenseness that comes with that, in just minutes? How about sadness, upset, or anger, or anxiety? How about those incessant urges that so often spur you on to pull even though you really, really, really don't want to do that? Well, in just our third session together, we're going to teach you a potentially life-changing set of exercises that are incredibly simple to perform and that will allow you to finally take control of your emotions in just a matter of minutes instead of your emotions controlling you. And by the way, feel free to teach these powerful state management tools to your friends and family as well. When you see everything they do for you, you'll probably be chomping at the bit to teach them to others, particularly your loved ones. We see this all the time, and they'll be eternally grateful to you for it. Why? Because learning how to control your state is the key to success in life. I don't think that's an overstatement. He who is able to bring self-control to bear is always going to be in control of the situation because he is always going to be at choice for how to respond rather than simply flying off the cuff every time something bad happens, reacting to adversity, and hoping it all works out. The hair pulling thing is just a microcosm of that. Until now, you've been using your hair pulling as a means of trying, you know, keyword trying there, to feel better even though you know you're going to regret doing that later. Well, that's your emotions controlling you instead of you controlling your emotions. Just follow our proven roadmap, and before you know it, you'll feel a sense of power, control, and choice of your emotions, and thus your hair pulling that I doubt you've ever felt before. I want to take a moment to share with you a quick case study that really demonstrates the oftentimes shockingly positive results we're able to get with our clients, even folks for whom all else has failed. Years ago, we received a phone call from a woman in Los Angeles. 
Her 13-year-old daughter had been pulling her hair for some years prior to that, and the family had been utterly unable to get any kind of meaningful help for her. They'd been to multiple therapists, they'd seen the best and the brightest experts in the city, including at UCLA. Nothing was making a difference. Anyway, so finally, we go to work with this young lady, and that's right, you guessed it. Within fairly short order, this young lady was finally able to break free from her hair pulling habit. A little while later, we get this phone call, really a, a voicemail message from a gentleman that identifies himself as Alan Gordon. He's the director of the Pain Psychology Center in Beverly Hills, California. And he leaves this voicemail message telling us how amazed he's been to hear from the father of this young girl about how, you know, of all the highly trained, highly pedigreed individuals they'd gone to, people who had written books on the subject, all these fine folks they'd been to see for help with this, that we were the ones, entirely via Zoom-based video conferencing, mind you, to help this young lady finally create a breakthrough. Listen to his voicemail message here. Hi, Robert. My name is Alan Gordon. I'm the director of the Pain Psychology Center. Uh, I had a patient that I was seeing whose daughter had trichotillomania and went through literally the best trichotillomania specialist in the, in the uh, city with little benefit. And I, I don't think I would have believed it if I didn't see it myself. But uh, she benefited from your program after maybe just a couple weeks and was able to uh, nip it in the bud. Um, I have a patient now that engages in face picking. She's actually uh, she's a model, so it affects her career. She's in her late twenties. And so, yeah, and so he goes and uh, continues on and tells me a little bit about this uh, young lady. Uh, and for the sake of confidentiality, I, I kind of cut off the message there, but you, you know, you get the gist. So I gave him a call, and when we were able to chat, we had a great conversation about what it is we do over here and how we do it. And the bottom line is, eventually, he invited us, that is, Glay and myself, to come down there and actually train their psychologists how to do this work. That was a lot of fun. And remember Heather? I showed you quite a few of her emails to us a little while ago. Uh, she'd called us back in 2013, and by the time she reached out to us, at that point, she'd already been pulling her hair for 20 years or so. A long, long time. And she'd also been in traditional therapy for a long, long time at that point. So we're doing this great work with her, and wouldn't you know it, we get this email from her therapist, a woman by the name of Tracy Bovey, who was very nice, very kind. When she first contacted us, she didn't say anything about the fact that she'd heard about us from Heather. She just said, I'd like to learn more about your program because I might like to refer some clients to you. And only a little bit later did we learn that Heather had told her all about us. So about six months after we started working with her, you know, Heather sends us this super positive, super exclamatory, super happy email. Remember this one? And Heather actually CC'd the same email to Tracy, who then wrote back to Heather and CC'd us her response, and, and this is what she said, right here. And then we have this discussion, and Tracy writes again to express her appreciation for the work we did with Heather. Here's a screenshot of her note to us. Anyway, we continue to have this dialogue with Tracy, and eventually she asks us about some training we might be able to provide for her. This is a professional therapist who at the time had been in business for 17 years. Clearly, we get results over here that leave many in the conventional mental health community really scratching their heads about how the heck we get these kind of results, and especially so quickly. So now, let's get to some specifics for you. We're talking about our acclaimed 90-day distance personal breakthrough coaching program, 12 weeks to lasting freedom from trichotillomania. Here's what you can expect to get when you enroll in the program. We're gonna be spending 12 full weeks together, both in the form of these eight real-time video conferencing personal breakthrough sessions. And between these sessions, we're gonna be hearing from you every single day by way of email. That's right, we're gonna be asking you to report to us just about every day between our live coaching sessions. There's not gonna be any point where we're wondering, you know, what's, what's happening with you. We're gonna know what's happening with you. We're gonna be in the loop at every point along the way. Remember when I told you that four out of five of our clients find they're able to stop pulling after just their very first session with us? Well, I just wanna quickly remind you why that is. We're gonna show you where the proverbial control button is on this pulling thing. Remember earlier when we noticed that, yeah, you know, there are times and places where you are indeed most likely to pull or pluck. Uh, but the truth is there are times and places where you're pretty much sure this will never happen. And that's because without even knowing what you're doing, 
you're turning on a mindset that allows you to be able to bring that kind of power and self-control to bear. Without consciously having any idea what you're doing, metaphorically speaking, you're reaching over and hitting the control button. And you know what? Everybody's got one, even you. We're going to show you where that control button has been hiding all this time and how to go get it anytime you want. And we're going to show you where this is in just your very first session with us. From your very first session on, you'll finally understand how easy it is to exercise choice and virtually effortless control over your pulling activity. And once you know it, you always know it. And from that time on, you'll never feel like a hapless victim of a condition that controls you ever again. Remember those pesky urges to pull? They're going to be a thing of the past by the time you've completed your 90-day distance personal breakthrough coaching program with us. That's because you're going to learn where those urges actually come from, and I can tell you right now, it's probably not where you think. If you're like most people, you've probably been thinking, gee, you know, if only I could get rid of my trichotillomania, then those urges would be gone forever. In other words, you probably think it's your trichotillomania that causes the urge to pull, right? Well, it turns out that's not actually how we see it. I mean, think about it. Can you think of any other urges you ever have? The urge to eat or drink or eliminate or scratch or sneeze, that it's not actually you or a part of you that's creating those urges. That's right. And guess what? It's you that creates those urges to pull also. Not consciously, of course, but it's still you. The question is, how and why do those urges come up when they do? And what can you do to eliminate them once and for all? We're going to answer all of those questions for you in your personal breakthrough session number two. In session number three, we're going to be teaching you some incredibly powerful state management tools. We talked a little bit about that before. Now, that may, may, may or may not sound very exciting to you until you realize that pretty much the only reason people pull their hair is because they need some way to try to feel better. In case you're not sure about that, just take a moment to think about all the times and places where you're most likely to pull. It's either going to be you're stressed out, or you're tired, or you're anxious, or you're overwhelmed, or pressured. Maybe you're just bored, or you're mired in tedious work of some kind. Or maybe it's been a long day and you're finally home, and it's how you've learned to help yourself unwind. All of those are about, how can I feel better? And the truth is, up until now, you've been using hair pulling, this thing you know you really want to stop doing, as the only way you've been able to figure out how to try to feel better. At times, maybe even to forcibly distract yourself from those uncomfortable feelings. Well, when you give in to the desire to pull your hair, the truth is, you're letting your emotions control you instead of you controlling your emotions. Remember what we said earlier? She who is in control of her state is in control of the situation. Why is that? Because the quality of our state determines the quality of our decision making, including, of course, whether or not to allow yourself to pull. When because you're in total control of your emotions, you're now able to step back and assess the situation without being consumed by your feelings, you'll always be able to make better decisions for yourself. Decisions, chances are, you'll be much more proud of later. And this goes across the board. You know, we haven't said much about this just yet, but there's a bigger picture here. The tools, techniques, and strategies we're going to teach you that allow you to break free from even years of hair pulling are in fact going to impact every part of your life in powerfully, positive, incredibly generative ways. You know how when you drop a rock into a still pond and there's this big splash at first? Yeah, it's dramatic change, isn't it? It's radically changing things up. And God knows you probably really need that. But it doesn't just stop there, does it? The water eventually settles back down again, but because of the impact that was made in this one very small area, you now have these very noticeable concentric circles emanating outward, eventually impacting the entire system, right? See, by making one huge change in this all-important area of your life, you can't not change everything else, probably for the better. The powerful processional effects of finally letting go of all these years of compulsive hair pulling is probably going to change everything for you. So to be clear, this is not going to be classroom style teaching. It's not going to be a one way conversation. This is going to be a do with, not a do to. It's all going to be very experiential. After all, it's been shown in study after study that the best, most effective, most enduring kind of learning 
is experiential learning. And that's why everything we do together is gonna to be so very interactive. It's about having a powerful experience that you'll never forget. And you know what? Just to add another layer of safety and security for you here, in addition to our formal 12 week coaching period with you, just to help ensure things continue to go well for you over the long term, Glay and I are gonna be reaching out to you proactively at the six and the 12 month points following the inception of our program. That's right, we're gonna reach out to you at the six and 12 month points following the beginning of our work together. And we're gonna invite you to meet with us once again via video conferencing, just to be sure you're still feeling good, feeling confident and feeling comfortable with this change you've made. And if you have any questions or if you need a little bit of help straightening something out, it's a great opportunity to do that at no extra charge. It's just totally complimentary. And the most important thing of all, you get us. You get the best in the business when you're working with Glay and myself. I could go on and on about our credentials, but you know, suffice it to say, we're the only husband and wife team that does this kind of work, at least that we know of, and our results are nothing short of world class. After all these years, it's probably safe to say that no one has done more work for sufferers of trichotillomania than we have, and no one has developed a coaching paradigm that's anywhere near as simple, straightforward, natural, and effective as ours, especially as quickly as ours is effective. And that, of course, is where the pedal hits the metal, right? The key word is effective. And you've already seen a slew of testimonials from the folks who know best, people who've made the wise decision to engage our services and who are now living free of that ball and chain they used to call trichotillomania. So far, we've talked a lot about what we can do for you, and we've even taken you inside and offered a substantial amount of detail about how what we do works and how specifically we're gonna help you create that. I hope there's no mystery about any of that for you right now. We've taken you through this entire journey with us here in this video because the truth is you need and you deserve a full and complete set of information to be able to responsibly make what we know is a significant investment all in the spirit of a potentially life-changing decision for yourself, which of course would be to join us for this powerful, proven 90-day distance personal breakthrough coaching program. And we've done our best to try to arrange things so there's almost no reason you wouldn't be able to join us. For example, for years, you know, if folks wanted to work with us, if they didn't live locally, and of course that's gonna be the case for most of our clients, people used to have to get on a plane and fly out here to Los Angeles to be able to do that. We've had people travel here from all over the United States, Canada, Mexico, not to mention many parts of Europe, Japan, Africa, Australia, New Zealand, you name it, but no longer. Since about 2013, with the advent of, at that point, better quality webcams and now near ubiquitous broadband internet, now the vast majority of our clients are able to work with us from the comfort of their own home or office. No need whatsoever to travel to be able to partake of this incredible program. Heck, even if you just wanted to see your local therapist, you still have to get in the car and drive through traffic for who knows how long to go see him or her, don't you? So for sure, nothing beats the convenience of working with us. Find a comfortable place at home, fire up the computer, and we're good to go. And in case you were wondering, there's absolutely no difference in prognosis between working with us entirely remotely via video conferencing versus working with us in person, either here in our Southern California offices or in your neck of the woods, which under the right conditions, we will absolutely do. And by the way, if you are interested in the possibility of having Glay and I travel to your area to visit you where you live, please contact us about that and we'll give you the details. All right, very good. Now. Here's the thing, if you've watched this entire video, especially all the way through to this point, that tells me that what you've seen here probably resonates strongly for you. And my guess is by now you also probably have a pretty good idea of just how interested you are in learning more about what's actually involved in getting started with us, assuming you are interested. And if all this sounds good to you and you really, you know, what you need now is in, in order to be able to move forward is to learn about fees and scheduling and all of that, then let's talk. Let's talk about how this program may indeed be a fit for you or your child personally. It'll be a great opportunity to help us get to know you or your child and to talk about how we can personalize this program to ideally fit your or your child's individual needs. So if you would, please go ahead and call us toll-free at 833-TRICK-FREE. See, it even rhymes. 
Uh, by the way, and yes, we also have the numbers for you there. You can you can see that right there. No need to have to pick out those keys on the phone. Uh, we're not going to make you do that. So go ahead and call us. We'll talk about fees. And we'll also talk about scheduling and anything else you think is important for you to know about before deciding to move forward with us. Now, when you do call, and as long as it's financially and logistically feasible for you, we're going to want to make it as easy as possible for you to decide to join us right away. So here's what we'll do for you. Within approximately the next, uh, I would say, 6 to 12 months, we're going to be releasing our very first large-scale home study program. The working title right now is The Trick-Free Survival Kit, The Secret of Freeing Yourself from Trichotillomania-Related Urges Quickly, Easily, and Permanently. Okay, so now this is the working title. I'm not actually, I'm not really totally sure if the actual title when it's done is gonna turn out to be exactly that, but it's gonna be something pretty close. And when that time comes, there will never have been anything like it ever published before in any form of media, books, videos, online, anything else. It's gonna be a complete and comprehensive treatise all about trichotillomania related urges, where they come from, why they show up when they do, and how by understanding the message those urges are really trying to give you, not only can you eliminate those troublesome urges once and for all, your life will probably feel better than it has at any time in the past. Interesting, huh? And yes, of course, we are absolutely going to be covering urges during the course of your 90-day distance personal breakthrough coaching program, and we will certainly be thorough about that. You can bet on it. However, wouldn't it still be nice to have a complete, organized, extensive, video-based home study program a library of resources, if you will, at your disposal that you can just log into and reference anytime you want from anywhere you might be and with any device you might want. Because the program will be video based, you can go over the program again and again, review any specific sections that are of particular interest to you, and just generally speaking, it's going to be a fantastic resource. One, like I say, that you can reference again and again, even long after our initial 90 day program has been completed. So why am I telling you all this? Well, I'm telling you all this because we want to give you a free copy of this powerful urge-busting home study program when it becomes available. Now, we don't have a firm price on it just yet, but it's very likely going to be priced somewhere in the range of four to $500. That's my guess. And again, we want to give it to you free. All you need to do to receive a free copy of this comprehensive home study program teaching you how to neutralize and even completely eliminate even the worst, most troublesome trichotillomania-related urges, in just minutes, by the way, is to go ahead and complete your enrollment for your 90-day distance personal breakthrough coaching program within 48 hours of our phone consultation, whenever that may be. So don't wait. Call us toll-free at 833-TRICK-FREE or 833-874-2437. And let's take just a few minutes to share with you how we can personalize this powerful, proven, 90-day distance personal breakthrough coaching program to perfectly fit your individual needs. Okay, so let's summarize everything you're gonna get when you sign up for your 90-day distance personal breakthrough coaching program. You're going to get eight up to two hour distance personal breakthrough coaching sessions with me and Glay over the course of 12 full weeks. That'll give us plenty of opportunity to teach you the core skills that are going to allow you to break free from even years of stubborn hair pulling, no matter how bad it's been, and no matter how many things you've tried in the past and failed at. You're going to get 24-7 access to me and Glay by way of email. We're going to know what's happening with and for you at all points during the course of your 12 weeks with us, because you're going to be writing to us every single day between your live meetings. We're going to show you where the proverbial control button is on this thing. If you've ever felt like a slave to trichotillomania, to something that makes you pull your hair out against your will, we're going to show you how to take total, and here's the key, effortless control over your pulling activity. Chances are, after just your very first session with us, you'll never feel like a victim of a condition that controls you ever again. Are you like most of the folks we see who struggle daily against what feels like the all-consuming urge to pull? What if we could show you how to eliminate that urge once and for all without having to resist anything? Too good to be true? Think again. That's exactly what we're going to be doing together during your session number two. We're going to teach you some of the most powerful state management tools in existence. This is so incredibly important because the truth is, again, people who pull their hair out, even though they genuinely don't want to be doing that, 
They do it anyway because they don't know any other way to try to feel better when they're feeling stressed or pressured or anxious or upset or bored or whatever it may be. That's the person letting their emotions control them instead of them controlling their emotions. Well, we're going to teach you how to be the boss of your emotions, not the other way around. In addition to our initial 90 days together, we're going to be proactively reaching out to you at the 6 and 12 month points following the inception of your 90 day program. We'll offer you the opportunity to get together with us, to check in, just to make sure you're continuing to do well. Thus, we'll, we're talking about not just 8 sessions over the course of 90 days with us, but a total of potentially 10 meetings over as long as a full year. That's the kind of security we're pretty sure you'll like. And best of all, you get direct access to me and Glay. Honestly, this is probably the best part. You know, it's easy for someone to toot their own horn, and if you know us, you know we generally don't do that. But you've seen for yourself the glowing reports that have come into us about what we've been able to do for our clients. I honestly don't know of anybody, no matter how long they've been practicing, or what great institutional, great educational institutions they teach at, or how many books they've written, that gets the kind of consistently mind-blowing results that we do. And finally, should you choose to register for the program within 48 hours of our upcoming phone call, you'll receive a free bonus gift worth four to $500, what we're gonna be calling the Trick-Free Survival Kit Home Study Video Program when it is released. All right, so look, you've seen the dozens upon dozens upon dozens of testimonials and other success stories we've showed you earlier. All right, 100% written by our clients themselves, which by the way is why we showed you actual screenshots of their emails to us. So you know all this stuff is real and true. We're not kidding around here. We get results that honestly, we've never heard of anywhere else. I don't think you'll find stories like these anywhere else. Well, guess what? Now it's your turn to write your own story. Because you know what? Whether or not you take advantage of this golden opportunity to change your life right now, you're still writing your life story. You're absolutely at a crucial fork in the road. If you're ready to go further than you ever have in your quest to finally conquer trichotillomania, if this is your time, if you're sick and tired of feeling sick and tired of the daily grind and the daily struggle just to get through another day of pulling, then don't wait. Let's get to work on this, shall we? Let's make this happen for you right now. Okay, so now as we get ready to close up here together, I want you to do something for me. I want you to take just a moment to create a picture of yourself getting up every single morning relaxed with a smile on your face because you finally have your life back. I want you to make it a big, bright, and colorful image or maybe make it a movie of yourself finally having the life you've been dreaming of. Just imagine getting up and heading over to the mirror in the morning and seeing full, rich, lush, eyebrows, and eyelashes. A voluptuous full head of hair that you can literally run your fingers through and feel as you do it. If you haven't already, go ahead and close your eyes and do that now. What does that feel like? And what is that feeling worth to you? You know, I've been doing this so long, you don't even need to answer that question because I already know what the answer is. My guess is, if you could really have all of that, it would be priceless to you. And I totally get that. I totally understand because, you know, I live in this world every single day and have for years and years and years now. Glay and I understand your pain, your frustration, your hurt, and your sadness. And it's time to leave all that junk behind now. It's time to cut the ball and chain, finally. After all, if not now, when? Next year? Someday? I have news for you. Someday is a day that never comes. Let's do this thing now, shall we? Let's get moving on this right now. Go ahead and call us right now, toll free at 833-TRICK-FREE. And again, that's 833-874-2437. If you'd prefer to send us an email to get things started that way, that's fine. Feel free to drop us a note at relief at trick-free.com. I want to thank you for your time in watching this entire video. I want you to know that I know it's an investment of your time, your energy, and your hope. Please know how seriously Glay and I take that. 
I hope you found this message a source of hope and inspiration and that you're excited about the next steps you're going to be taking to change your life, hopefully starting this week. Thanks again so much for watching. We can't wait to meet you and show you just how beautiful life is on the other side. Take care and God bless.